Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I asked you what you guys want to see, if you want to see a powder foundation or if you want to see that purple eye look that I was talking about and a lot of you said powder foundation, which I get, it's hot and you don't want to wear a lot of makeup and powder foundation is perfect for when it is hot outside or if you're in a rush or anything like that. For the longest time I was never a powder foundation kind of person, I was always just kind of like a liquid foundation, which I still love a liquid foundation, don't? Don't get me wrong, but like over the last year or so, I feel like I've really developed a love for a powder foundation because we've talked about a few of them. We've talked about the Kat Von D one, we've talked about the Bare Minerals one, and now we're gonna talk about the one that I feel is the best powder foundation you've ever used in your whole entire life. Thank me later. Okay, I don't have any makeup on. I've basically just woken up. I kind of look like this when I wake up in the morning. I've got a little bit of redness happening. We've got a little bit of blemishes happening. Um, and this is, like I said, perfect for when you're in a rush or if you're hot outside or if you're just a powder foundation kind of gal. This, this is for you. So this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. I use it in two colors, mostly everything I have I use in two colors, um, but we're gonna use R330 today. I also use it in Y345. I'm not sure what the R and the Y are for. Young and Reckless, Young and the Restless. So with any powder foundation routine, it's super duper easy. This is great if you are a beginner in makeup and you just wanna add a little bit more coverage to your face. This is actually gonna add a lot of coverage. Being someone that wears liquid foundation, I was really, really impressed with the amount of coverage that this powder foundation provides you. It's matte, but it's like really breathable and it looks like skin like it doesn't look cakey and you'll see in a second when I put it on my face I just want to talk about the prep for a second so when I wear a powder foundation I don't like to put on a moisturizer or a primer a lot of people have asked if I use the milk makeup hydro grip primer with a powder foundation and the answer is no I just think that it's entirely too sticky to be used with a powder so what I normally do when I wake up in the morning is put on my moisturizer which usually is the summer Fridays jet lag I just think that it sinks really nicely into the skin and it provides a lot a lot a lot of hydration so I've already put this on this morning and then about 30 so 40 so minutes ago I put on my SPF this is the super glue super glue this is the super glue what girl we're not putting super glue on our face this is the super goop glow stick and it has an SPF of 50 in it I like to have my sunscreen on but I also like to have it sit on my skin for a minute so that my skin is basically dry and I'm not putting the powder on anything wet so the skin is prepped and ready to go Ret to go. So let's put on our cat ears. Let me get a little closer. The shade that I'm going to use today is the R330. This is the same shade that I use in the actual foundation itself. So when I first got this powder foundation, I'm not usually one to use like the little applicator that it comes with, but I feel like this is where the magic is. I started using it on the black side, just not knowing. I was like, oh no, not the white side. The white side looks too nice. But this is the side you want to use. This is honestly the magic. I'm gonna load up my little applicator here and then let's just see if you can tell right away the difference it makes in my skin. Like, I feel like it just eliminates everything. Like, okay, bye blemish. See you later. See you later. I feel like this is like an ASMR video. Like, oh. All right, I gotta take these cat ears off because these are squeezing my head a lot. <laughs> So let's cut back to my face like what 10 seconds ago just so you can see like the comparison side by side because I feel like it happens so quickly. When I wake up in the morning I have a lot of redness in my face. I had a breakout here and here. I'm not even sure because I can't even really see it on my face right now. The first day that I used this powder foundation I just like stood back in the mirror and was like whoa. I honestly still love the Kat Von D one. Bare Minerals is still really good but the fact that I like the applicator that this comes with I feel like it makes it even easier and like my top 
favorite because everything I need is right here. You can build the coverage on this if you like. So it does have like a 12 hour wear time. I have worn this for a really long time and it still looks good. Obviously there's some parts that needs to be touched up if you're gonna wear it for 12 hours, but I like that it doesn't look cakey and that the powder itself is a buildable powder. So some days I will just wear the powder foundation alone just like this. Go do whatever I need to do. Just wanna cover up some redness, get rid of a little bit of shine, just look a little more matte and even toned and it's like two seconds and you're out the door that's why I love it it's super duper fast but some days I do add like a little bit more I don't know if I want to add a little bit more I think I just want to go as is like maybe throw on some lip balm let's try this tower 28 one mm, throw on a little balm so our lips don't look like so chap get a little color oh this is nice oh this one is called fire this is the tower 28 shine on lip jelly and fire I talked about these on my Instagram story a little bit ago um, they have clear and then they just came out with three like tinted ones it's like an orange or red and a purple this one is in the shade fire which is perfect it just gives like a little bit of color to your lip and it is like um like a gloss but it's also like a jelly so it's like good for your lips, but it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't leave them like more dry. So really, really into these. I don't feel like I want to do anything else really because it's really, really hot outside. We got to go to like tile stores and you know, like when you go to tile stores, they don't have like any air conditioning. They just have like big ass fans. So I'm not trying to sweat everything off. So I think I'm just going to go like this for the day. I have a full powder foundation routine where I add more, like I do some concealer and some blush and my brows and like all that jazz. So I will leave that in the bottom bar if you guys wanna watch that full one. Again, this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. It is the blurring powder foundation, literally life changing. I love this so much, so, so, so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'm gonna go try to find some tile for the bathroom. Yes, we're vlogging. We're gonna go this week. We're gonna try this week with no music and see uh, how that goes. So that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say except I will see you guys super duper soon in a new video. Bye guys.